Hey guys, this is Sam, and as you can see right now, it is Amazon Prime Day, meaning that if you're a Prime member, there are a there are a lot of good deals happening. I am surprised. I know last year's Prime Day, I think it was the first annual, if I remember correctly, uh, there weren't that many good deals, and I wasn't a Prime member then, so I don't really have any interest, but this year, there's a lot of good stuff to take a look at. So I want to show you some of my hand-curated picks that I think are worth taking a look at. First up is this Yamaha receiver. All of these here that say watching. The deals aren't live yet, so you don't know exactly how much they're going to cost, but I think they're worth taking a look at nonetheless. This is just a receiver, so you can hook up your speakers, gaming consoles, Blu-ray players, anything through that, and then that'll go straight to the TV. You basically get some refined audio and video tuning and channeling and processing, so it's really good if you want a serious home entertainment system, and really it's the only way to do a serious home entertainment system. I've got a nice backpack here. I haven't looked specifically into these, so I don't know how good they are. And I've got a third one down here. So like it's 36 bucks, it's 36% off. I like looking at the reviews a lot too, because if it's only like a two and a half, three star product, it's probably not worth the buy. But I mean, four and a half stars, it, it looks really nice, honestly. I mean, this is something I might check out later. But moving back up here to the top, Here's a drone. If this goes low enough, I could totally see myself going after it, but I don't know the exact price just yet. I mean, it looks like right now it's $700 for the drone by itself, and I think the only drone I would be comfortable with going all in after is the Phantom 4 by DJI, just because it's such a good drone and the reviews say that it works really well. But I've never gotten into drones, and maybe this would be a good entry level, so it, it might be worth taking a look at. If you've got any USB-C devices, like say the MacBook made by Apple, for example, a USB to USA, yeah, USB-C to USB-A converter is necessary because almost nothing is USB-C compatible just yet. We've got a nice little Red Dragon keyboard right here, along with a Red Dragon mouse. I want to be honest in saying that I don't know a lot about PC gaming, so I can't tell you how good those are. But maybe you guys could shed some light in the comments if you ever heard of that brand or if you use it yourself. Here's an iPad Pro stand. It's not live just yet, so I don't know the price. I mean, it'll probably go down to $15 or something, but it, it looks somewhat useful. You could set it somewhere. I mean, I'm sure it'd be great if I wanted to use it in a video. You got another backpack right there. And then moving on, there's a nice little Fandango dining gift. I really wanted this Red Robin gift certificate because I love eating there, but it expired really fast, so I didn't get a chance to grab it. Here's a nice lens right here. I don't think I'm gonna pick it up just because I already have a 20 millimeter prime. And I, I mean, 14 millimeters, it would be super ultra wide angle, but I don't really need another wide angle lens. I just got a new uh, greaterly zoomed, like a 30 millimeter by Sigma the other day. If you're building a computer, here's a great, I mean, it looks like you're on a wait list now, but if you wanted to have bought it earlier, 120 gig in internal for 2880, it's an SSD, looks really solid. And then here's a green screen. This isn't something that I think a lot of you would be interested in, but if any of you are aspiring photographers, I mean, looks like not a bad deal at all for that green part, or the green screen by itself. This is a badass looking router. It looks amazing. I'm pretty sure Marcus Brownlee uses this in his studio, and I've recently acquired a new Wi-Fi router called the Luxel myself, but I'm not really looking. However, honestly, $200 for that thing does not look too bad. It's got 400 stars, 7, <laughs> 4, God, I wish it had 400 stars. It's got 4 stars with 700 ratings, and it looks really solid. So it's something to take a look at if you're in the market for a new router. If you play a lot of games on your Apple TV or your iPhone, here is the Apple MFI certified controller. It has to be good if it's Apple certified, and then it's also 4.5 stars. Looks really sensitive, so if you game a lot, I mean, hey, 40 bucks for a $60 controller that says it was originally 120 seems to be a fantastic deal, so check it out. If you want to do any video or audio work, I would highly recommend checking these out. This looks like an amazing deal, $100 for three of these soft boxes. Now I know there are undoubtedly varying levels, like with anything, of their quality. Um, these aren't the ones that I have, but I mean, hey, if you're looking to get into video or you've got a YouTube channel or you take photos, this is a great starter kit. I think I paid $300 for two of mine, so, honestly, go for it. it, it this, is, this looks like an amazing deal, and it's almost something I would want myself if I wasn't going off to college soon. But here's another backpack that I talked about earlier, and then two more lenses. This one looks incredibly tempting. Uh, it just looks like an amazing lens, and I would get it, but for Micro Four Thirds, which is what my camera shoots on, 
Uh, it's a little bit more expensive, and it's not officially the prime deal of the day. Here's another drone that I thought about, but you basically have to supply the device and the camera. The GoPro or camera aren't included, and I don't think I'm comfortable spending an additional two or three hundred hours to get a 4K GoPro. Then it, all of a sudden, it's a thousand dollar drone instead of six hundred. But if you're a drone person, I read the reviews. It seems to be pretty good overall. Although I have heard the customer support with the 3DR company is very subpar. Here's a Jawbone Mini Jam Box. It says it's in my cart, but it's it's kind of glitched right now where it won't let me pick it up. I, I think I might get it if it works because, I mean, hey, 47 bucks for a, a $60 speaker. It's not going to be the greatest thing on the planet, but if you're really looking for a nice, solid Bluetooth speaker, then I would, I'd go for it. I mean, $47, nothing too crazy. However, I do want to go back to the main deals page. Those are just some deals. I scrolled through like 28 pages of electronics to find those. These look like a pretty good deal. I'm not a huge Bose guy. I just don't have a lot of brand loyalty toward Bose, but they seem to be pretty good. Four and a half stars, 192 ratings. I think they're, these might be wireless. Can I check? No, actually, I think th these, yeah, these are not wireless. So these are actually going to be wired. I'd probably check them out if they were lightning cable, but they're just the standard 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, which might be disappearing soon on the next iPhone, but that's a story for another day. Here, uh, Lenovo laptops, computers, probably will be staying as far away from those as I possibly can. But here's some interesting deals on some Huawei. God, this is why I review Apple stuff. Uh, looks like there's some nice unlocked phones here. Looks like these have extremely positive reviews, though, overall. And smartwatches? I, I'm not sure. I've never really looked at these. It says it has an AMOLED. Yeah, this is a smartwatch of some sort. Looks really interesting and nice. I mean, it, it's a very nice-looking watch. I'd probably think it was a normal watch if I saw it on the street. So here's some nice smartphones for all of you... Android and iOS fans, but I probably should start covering Android in the future just so I have a more well-rounded view of how the real world is. Here's something that I think is awesome, and I'm, I would be so tempted to buy if it was like two or three hundred dollars. This is actually made by Segway. It's quote-unquote a hoverboard or a, as they would say, a smart self-balancing personal transporter with mobile app control for long. It looks awesome. I watched uh, Unbox Therapy's video on this the other day. And it looked like a ton of fun. I would love to review one of these. So if you're watching Segway, please send one of these out. I would be more than happy to make a video on it. So that's a pretty good deal. I mean, honestly, it's half off almost 700 instead of 13. So nearly, nearly half off. And if you're looking at one of those, I mean, Segway is obviously going to be quality. They've built a brand that specializes in personal transport. So it'd be something good to go for. Some other products here. This is really the last thing that I wanted to talk about. There's a few good gaming deals for PlayStation and Xbox, but here's a mobile printer. If you want to print out photos, you can just buy the photo paper and then I believe it Bluetooth or there's either like a lightning cable that goes into your phone and you can print out photos straight from your, from your iOS device, like right on the go. So it's really cool. I mean, if you ever wanted to do some minor photography and print it out for yourself, $88 really was not that bad. Going to be honest, I would stay away from this TV right here. There's probably a reason that a 43-inch 4K TV is only $300, even though it has four and a half stars. That'd be like somebody giving you an i. It'd be like somebody selling an iPhone 7 to you for $200 instead of $650. There's probably a catch somewhere. So be cautious if you see any deals that seem too good to be true. But anyway, guys, these are some great deals on Amazon Prime Day. I hope I didn't talk too long for you. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. If you've bought any of these products that I mentioned, let me know. Also, a great mic here for anybody who's thinking about getting into YouTube. Great deal on a great game. And I know I keep rambling, but uh, moving to a new location later this year, I'm definitely thinking about repurchasing the Blue Microphone Yeti just because I'm going to be in a compact area and I don't have a lot of space for all of my equipment. So it's something to think about. 89 bucks, not a bad deal, although I do believe... It has gone lower before, so just keep that in mind. If you enjoyed this, leave a like down below, and of course, subscribe for more tech news. This has been Sam with iBidOS, and I'll talk to you guys later.